love, with the love, show me love, give me love, I fell in love, I fell in love, I want it, fall in love, show me love, show me love, fell in love, fell in love, and that's okay, fall in love, me and that bitch, give me a, I want that. Hey babes, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I filmed, but we're back at it today. Today's just a random vlog, um, a little chit chat later on. But right now, my whole entire day has been chaotic. I had a hair appointment today. Today was my day off, so I have basically everything scheduled on today. Had my hair appointment and some crazy stuff random things happened this morning so I had to cancel that um, and reschedule it so now I'm just at the coffee shop as you saw I made my coffee and had a still I had a chill morning and now I'm here I have to edit a few things I like to edit on my off days and film on my off days like I'm doing today so that next time I can edit and post and I like plan everything out so today we're going to go into my favorite coffee shop and um, edit a few things I already had coffee so maybe I'll get a little snack or something before I go to the mall I have to go do some shopping today some retail therapy because like I said today is my off day I feel like anytime I'm off and I step outside I spend a hundred dollars or more and I need to stop but it is what it is. Today is going to be a good day. We're vlogging back again. I'm going to try to just do more daily vlogs and try to do daily lifestyle things like I should be doing. But, you know, your girl gets busy sometimes. But I'm going to kind of show you guys how I am a micro-influencer in between having a full-time job and how I make money. I'll chat about that a little bit later. But yeah it's getting hot so i'll see you guys in a bit and take you along with me I had to get some little ghetto gas as you can see it was $39.50 for me to fill my car up I stopped it at $39.50 I was not paying over $40 for my tank because what I used to pay mind you I have a little Nissan I used to pay like $20 to fill my tank up like $25 to fill it completely all the way now we're in a recession so I went to the mall as you guys saw I'll do a little haul for you later on but I was looking for a mini 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 bag like my vision is a small little bag and something about little bags I just love so I was looking for a little bag something that I could take with me to go out um, and style with my outfits because I'm going on a trip at the end of August so I was like I need a little mini bag so I was looking for that today I had one from Louis Vuitton in mind I went to Bottega I saw their little um, mini crossbody and it was like this big like literally this big crossbody it was so cute my phone would not even fit in it and that, my biggest thing was as long as my phone can fit in it um, and then I went to the Webster here in Houston that was my second time there they have really cute things there they're um, if you're into fashion then you should definitely go because they have just cute storylines um, a lot of different brands cute storylines on the racks and on the walls um, it's color-coded so all the brands are in between but it just looks aesthetically pleasing and super cute and I saw the Celine bag there my friend has that bag and 
I saw her wear it once and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. It comes with a crossbody strap. It's mini as well, but that was $19.50 and I was not going to pay that right now for the little mini bag. So now I'm headed to eat with my friend and get some hookah. It's not that I don't want you. I came home, started doing my laundry, cleaned a little bit. Um, I had groceries that I needed to put up, so that's what I did. And then I just got straight to the content. But film all your videos in one day, edit them when you have time, and then post them when you have time. And that's what works so you can enjoy the moment also. That's basically what I do. I don't post in real time. And yeah, so I just started filming a TikTok. I did a little unboxing, but I'm going to show you kind of my setup. It's so basic, like, so basic. This is from Amazon. It's probably linked in my Amazon storefront. I was doing a little unboxing, so this is literally how I do my TikToks. Just like this. Put my phone in here. A film outside of TikTok. Go follow my TikTok down below and see that little unboxing video. It'll probably be up by the time I post this video, but... Yes, I'm gonna do a little unboxing for you guys. I didn't really get much. I went to Sephora and I got this facial massager. I'm so excited to use it. I might do it with my skincare routine soon so you guys will see what it's like. I'm so excited to use it because I feel like it will shape my face. Yes, this is sturdy. Snatch and then like right here, I'm gonna keep doing it every day with my moisturizer and stuff. This is a great buy. I think it was only like $22. And I used to have the Guisha, Geisha. I don't know how you say that one. The Sephora brand. They had other rollers too. That's what I was showing you in the clips, um, which one I was going to get. But I think this one is going to be so good. I'm so excited. And then she gave me a little sample of um, this face oil. I wanted to try it to see how my skin likes it. It's by Sunday Riley, the Juno face oil. She said it's supposed to be really good for your skin, but um, we'll see if my skin purges or if it's like amazing. Then I went to Morphe and I got a new face sponge because I need to change it out like every month or my skin will start breaking out. And I didn't change it and my skin was breaking out, so you see clearly I'm on the skincare tip because I'm trying to get my skin right. This is the brush cleansing balm. I need to clean my brushes. And she said this was cool because it comes with the little pad here and then the back of it is like a balm. And then you just go into the balm, go onto the cleaner and she said water and your brushes will be clean. So. I'm gonna try that too next time I have some time to clean all my brushes. And then last but not least, I got the little cutest bag in the entire world. This was the little unboxing that I did on TikTok, but I'm just gonna show you guys. Also, it's so cute. <laughs> How cute is this? Like, I saw somebody on, um, Instagram habit and she had this cute little outfit on and this little teeny tiny bag and I was like I have to have it. This is technically a toiletry bag but I've seen it as people use it as bags and I was like it's so cute. It's so stinking cute. I've seen people put a chain on here too on this side and wear it as a crossbody. I'm going to look on Amazon and see where they're getting them from because I'm going to try it but I also don't want it to pull on the bag here and have a hard time later but like like i said i was on the search for a mini mini bag like a teensy weensy and this is perfect um it wasn't that expensive because it's technically a toiletry bag i mean it's still stupid expensive but i also wanted to make sure my phone fit and it definitely fits 
all the way in with a lot more room for a card holder, keys, lip balm. I'm gonna stuff whatever I can in here. I wanted a mini one for my trip because one, I do not wanna get pickpocketed. Like I'm just gonna hold this little thing around all over the place and just hold it with all my essentials. I'm also about to just throw this in my carry-on because I am not taking any chances with any bags. I've been hearing all the stories about the bags being lost, um, check-in bags being lost, like if you go out of the country or go to Europe or everywhere, I've been seeing it and I'm not taking any chances. I know so many people recently who have gotten their bag like it's just gone it's just lost of course my camera died this little camera i'm over it i need like three batteries backup batteries i was just about to start chatting away um but then my camera died so here we are i just wanted to chat and talk a little bit about how i make my money on social media basically how social media is my side hustle and I always wanted to make money off of social media and I'm so grateful because I used to literally want a brand deal so bad. I wanted to work with brands so bad a long time ago and I didn't believe it could happen and it does. I like to say I'm a micro influencer because I do have a full time job and I do it in between um, which I'm basically showing you my little routines for the next few days. but. This is how I make my content and I'm going to with, share with you guys how I make money on social media. So I have my little notebook here. My first one down is Amazon storefront. If you have a TikTok um, and you post things or you post things on your story, if you're into home decor or fashion or outfits or little Amazon finds, get an Amazon storefront. Um, you have to apply for it and once you get on there then you can start posting things and when people click your link in your Amazon storefront then you get credit for it um, at first it wasn't a lot and then one day I just randomly checked after like a decor video and there was just money in there and I was like oh so they do really click the they do really click the link so sometimes it is sometimes it isn't you just have to just post what you have in your Amazon storefront. So that is one way. Second way is new to me because I literally just got accepted to this like two weeks ago. This is the Instagram Reels. And my friend, she has said she was getting paid from Reels and I was like, really? And then she tried to show me where, but it wasn't on my end. But then I found out that you have to be offered the real, um, bonuses it's basically bonuses so you have a certain deadline and a certain mark to reach um, to receive the bonuses and you just post your Instagram reels and you can get bonuses and I started like two weeks ago to be completely transparent I literally posted one um, Instagram reel once I was accepted so accounted for that one Instagram reel and right now I have like $16 $16 in it and I know that the maximum bonus on it was like $1,200 so if I hit the maximum bonus then that's $1,200 right there so that is a good thing just keep posting your reels next thing is YouTube you get paid on YouTube through Google AdSense so when you sign up for YouTube you don't automatically just get paid from YouTube you have to monetize your channel there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes in, into that, so you just have to do your research. I'm not sure when they changed the criteria or if they did, but once you hit a certain threshold, then you will be able to monetize your videos and make money on YouTube. And that is the same. It's a hit or miss. It's if you're posting, um, if you're consistent, um, then you can cash out monthly. And if you're not consistent, then it's just not gonna be anything there but if you are consistent then there's gonna be something there and if your video just randomly starts to get good then there's gonna be something there so that is a main way to get paid on social media along with brand deals my mind just went blank but brand deals is another one of the main ones there um, I also have the TikTok creator fund the 
TikTok Creator Fund is cents. It's not much. I know um, people with millions of views and they get like hundreds of dollars. Like it's not as um, much as it sounds. I'm sure if you have lots and lots of engagement and lots of followers, then I'm sure it could be more. But from my personal end, and I feel like I have a lot more supporters on TikTok, being in the creator fund didn't do really anything for me. Yeah, I got out of the creator fund and ever since then I still use the TikTok platform for brand deals. When I first started collaborating with brands, it was more of just a collaboration, just content um, exposure for free exchange of, pro exchange of products. And that's fine. At first it was fine. I loved it. I would get free products all the time. And then the past year on TikTok, when I seen that people were getting paid for TikTok and make your media kit, I swear it's, it helps so much more when the brands reach out to you, then you can just send over your media kit. If they accept, they accept. If they don't, then you can negotiate and see where that takes you because there's money to be made in social media marketing is on the rise so yeah that's kind of the ways that i make money on social media but i'm done chatting you up i'm going to do my skincare routine my camera's gonna die so i'm gonna do my skincare routine and just work on content and go to bed <laughs> that I don't want you here It's something about the way you stare into my I know that I don't make things clear I fall for you every time I try to resist We can get away I'm just bitch feel feeling every day All you wanna hear is an episode that we play Sitting next to you To it. it's silk press all the way out i'm so happy i love the braids they were definitely my vibe um i would get them again but my hair was so tangled when i detangled and took them out it always does that but i just always forget about it i feel like i always forget about it so when i detangled my hair twice i had like huge Four balls of hair so it feels good to feel my scalp and have it silk pressed out i had it natural for like well i was supposed to get it done on tuesday um on the vlog and then i had to reschedule so here i am she does such a great job my hair is getting so much longer i'm obsessed i feel like i'm not crusty anymore but but yes, today is now Thursday and I'm chilling. I came back home um, because I left my headphones, but I'm going to go to the coffee shop and edit. I worked yesterday, like I said, so I didn't really do much. I went to work, came back, and I did a little bit of editing. I started to edit and transfer the videos over. So then I'm going to try to post today or by the weekend. We'll see how far. I get when I work on content and stuff I like to have fun at the same time you always have to so I'm going to get hookah or going to eat with friends is always a vibe always you can always get content out of it you take pictures or make a TikTok or whatever the case may be so that's what's going on here I'm just talking but I need to get up and get ready for the coffee shop i need to make sure i have everything okay so i'm sitting up here before i show you my outfit of the day i want to show you my package that i got from amazon i ordered this little chain i just threw the packaging and i was like let me put this on the vlog uh, so you guys can see what i was talking about for the little louis vuitton bag i got this chain crossbody chain so i put it in the top 
here they have a little like loop here that you could loop it into um it wasn't that easy and i don't want to put this chain on it for too long because i don't want it to start pulling it also might be sturdy because this is very light and you could see right here that it's like sewn into the canvas on both sides so i just don't want it to pull this way if it's if there's so much stuff in it but look how cute it's like the perfect length and it just looks cute crossbody whereas with the little outfits this chain is 47 inches so it's so perfect still not gonna get pickpocketed and still cute and then i could just wear it like this so add a little bit of accessory to it but that was my vision and it's so perfect i'm obsessed i need to go somewhere to wear it but i'll show you what my real outfit for the day is I'm wearing this set I got a long time ago from Target. It's so cute. I wore it once to Pilates and I was like, this is too cute to be wearing to Pilates. So now I just wear it for errands and stuff. It's like a ribbed gray material. Sorry, my mirror is dirty, but this is the material. It's super thick and it's a two piece set. Then I'm wearing my Telfar bag and my Yeezys. Just an everyday errands look. I'm gonna bring a jacket too because it gets cold in the coffee shop, but let's head out. Look at this rain. I'm at the coffee shop now and I'm not going in until it stops to rain a little bit at least. I had just got my hair done. I am not about to play with myself today. Once the rain dies down, I'm going into the coffee shop. I might just get a lemonade though, because it's like late. And I didn't get breakfast because I decided I want sushi today. Even though I'm supposed to meal prep, I'll still meal prep later on, but I'm gonna get sushi for lunch. So I'm gonna edit for at least an hour. This is probably the end of the vlog because I don't have much footage it's just gonna be a short vlog thank you guys for watching don't forget to follow my other socials down in the description box and i will see you in the next video